And plus, with the, with the dough, we're going to have um, a herb crust. So that's the invitation that everyone can go around the garden, pick the herb of choice. Write this down. That's and uh, also, it, if you buy, if there are more people, it gets to uh, And then we've got our, our lunch, which we're going to prepare. Um, pork ribs with black pepper and lemon. Marinated fish, put some red curry sauce. Wow. Uh, and we've got a spinach and feta naan. <laughs> and then we've got rhubarb crumble, which again comes from the garden. Uh, and then... Does anybody else grow rhubarb here? <laughs> No. no. We think we're the only growers of rhubarb in the Upper Harbour. We're the only eaters of rhubarb. We bought a small container of rhubarb and we put it in the Ah, well, anyone can have a wood oven, but it's a matter of learning how to use it. And yeah. It really is. And, um, and there's a thousand ways of using it. Yeah. And a thousand ways of building it and, and, and everything else. But to be truthful, you need someone good to show you how to do it. And once you've been shown, then, well, then. Well, it'll just change, it just changes the whole thing, and so, so I figured, I figured it would be worthwhile coming up. It's not very far away. What I'm trying to look for is like it's nice and crispy on the outside, but very tender on the inside. So, if it comes up too much, I'll cover it in tin foil, uh, but I'll just see how it goes. So, every now and then, I'll take it out of the oven and have a look at it, and that. But that should take about an hour. So if you're feeling hungry, you've got about an hour to wait. Wow! And what's the that, temperature? That's not so oh, yep, this is going too. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's take it through it again. It's, it's lemon zest, lemon juice, lemon chopped zest. garlic. Chopped garlic. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. There's rosemary. rosemary and there's two different types of thyme. Right. Yeah, all yeah. going in there. First of all, I mean, you've got the garden. I mean, the garden is fantastic, beautiful. I mean, they've done it beautifully. And you know, the way nature has been kind to them, I think, with this, this last winter's rainfall. They've been beautiful at the moment. And so to, to come here and do this little course, here this one, with this wonderful view, this is just second to none. It's, this is the prettiest part of the Alguara. Uh, there you can see absolutely nothing, which is just what you want to see really, where you can see the most, the most beautiful anthena in flower there, and the, and the garden, and the hills, and the peace, and there's a nightingale been accompanying us all day long. Yeah. And that's just, just the sort of place I want to be, and for a cookery course. And, and William did it wonderfully. I mean, he, he's good. He's, he's clearly a master. So what is the temperature that you're putting it in? This is, on here, on the left, three, three, three forty? Bloody hot. Yeah. Yeah. So if it's starting to cook too much, I can always, yeah. I can pull it towards the door. Yeah. yeah and then it's going to be cooler by the door. Right. Because that's got three forty for an hour. It'd be carbonized. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a thousand. I've learned a thousand things today. And I, I should go back and spout. What I need is a new wood burning oven. Right. I mean, he's got a really class wood burning oven. Yeah. That's a really nice thing. And so I shall. I shall. I think I shall tear mine out and put a new one in, just as soon as possible. And yeah, all the all the dishes were good. The boat was good with the cheese and mm. it, just a simple thing. I think I've eaten more today than I've eaten every day for the last fifty years. <laughs> And but the fish curry and the fish ribs. curry, terrific. I mean, how you who'd think of doing a fish curry in a wood burning oven yeah. with bacalao? Really nice and as we punt as we punt on the sound. sound. And, yeah, uh, just terrific. And then the ribs, yeah, the pork ribs. What's that from? Oh, look at the dough. It's very long, yeah. It's quite dangerous. Okay, so you can put it just to the left hand side of Chris's. Yeah, I can always move it afterwards. And you'll need a little jerky movement just to. About there, I can move it afterwards. Okay, okay. No, that's alright. Yeah, we'll see. Did you cook more than one at time, William? Yes, you can. Yes, no reserves. Oh, I see. You're taking the bits of ginger out, guys. Taking ginger bits. Oh, I see. Oh, what a nice ginger. Orange is lovely with rhubarb. I know that, but ginger too. That's a nice.
That's it. Is that ready cooked? This is just, just pre-cooked, just to take it down a little bit, just so it goes all nice and squidgy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that a real word? A squidgy? Squidgy. It is, is that more because you're cooking ramekins, <laughs> or would you do the same if you're making a big crumble? Either, either, or I think ramekins, because it's like an individual portion, really, that's mm. why I've done ramekins. It's changing, and it's because of initiatives like this that it's changing. And yeah. I'm not saying that it's because of English people coming to teach the Spanish how to cook. I mean, I wouldn't dare stick my neck out and say a thing like that, not, not in anybody's hearing. But uh, what it is, it's movement of peoples and ideas. I mean, most of, most of the, the things that we've learned today have not been English. They've just been a mixture, just that wonderful sort of bohemian mix of, of influences ethnic and, and, yeah. and racial and, and everything else and like the movement of populations again one of the things that's been that's sort of taken this hitherto rather stagnant area the Apuhara you know being a remote mountain area get you get places like that get stagnant and then their own children move away and then come back and then they've got new ideas and then when it also takes incomers to move in with different ideas same in Britain I oh, got it same in Britain you probably don't remember what Britain was like in the 50s god what a terrible place to live what a terrible place to eat the music was crap everything was crap <laughs> Back then. But then all these, you know, then we got the Chinese and the Pakistanis and the Caribbeans and and all those races from all over the world. And you know, there was a certain element of us who back in those days and still to this day complain and say, What are all these people doing here? Well I'll tell you what they're doing here. They're enriching our lives and they're enriching our culture and indeed, you know, we are doing it here. It, movement of peoples, it, it's a great thing. Convivencia. You know, that's what we've been learning from here. And it, Hey, it was a great feed. Well, cheers. How nice. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, what a great idea. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Good. Well, thank you very much for all that coming. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. We haven't finished yet. Yes, I know.